Let's go over how you would map out these genes using the crossing over frequency. The first thing you should do is draw your chromosome. This whole chromosome is 50 map units long. Now we're gonna start with the largest percent, which is B and C and it's 18%. We're gonna place the genes B and C around 18% away from each other on this chromosome. And it should look something like this. Now this doesn't need to be perfect because we're just mapping these out using the crossing over frequency, but it should look something like this. And you can also write this C and B. It doesn't matter which way you put it. Next, we're gonna take a look at these two other frequencies and try to figure out where A goes. There's a 6% crossing over frequency between A and C. That means A can go somewhere around here or somewhere around here. Now you can probably guess that A is gonna go here. And that's because between A and B, you have 12%. So there's gonna be 12% here and 6% here. A can't be over here because it would be larger than 18% between B and A. So in these gene mapping problems, you're basically using these frequencies to figure out and map out where genes are on a chromosome. Now it's important to remember that this is also possible, CAB. This is just looking at the chromosome in the different order. You can go CAB or BAC. 